everyone, Valerius Zarnescu here. In this video I will be showing you uh, how to use the admin settings of my mobile site generator. So let's log in here. Remember we put here admin and password. Log in. And now let's go to the settings tab. You can see here we have username and password already the ones that we defined. Now we'll put here the full name. So I'll put Valerio Zarnescu and the webmaster email. This is in case you forget your admin password. So let's put my uh, email here. Let's put it. Okay. PayPal email. This is important because here you will receive uh, all the payments coming from my mobile site generator. So, my PayPal is valizeru at gmail.com. And now here you can set um, the number of sites that your members can create with the packages that they uh, buy. So, the bronze package is the, the cheapest and uh, we have set it by default to uh, two mobile websites. You can change this, let's put one, and let's uh, uh, put a price here, let's say $10. Now, we can select if this is a one-time payment or if this is a recurrent payment. If we select a recurrent payment, then we have to select the membership period. So, one month or two months or 12 months whatever anyway default is 12 months let's put it for two months uh, here you have the get paypal button for the bronze package but uh, these buttons will work only after we click save changes it says here you have to save the changes you make oh let let me show you this you have to save the changes you make to the paypal buttons uh, before getting the HTML code. So, uh, let's save the changes. And now it says data modified successfully. And as you can see here, the data that we, we put in is already saved, so we can click on Get PayPal button. And this is the code that you want to copy and paste on uh, any page that is inside uh, the uh, my mobile site generator script. So, your sales page has to be either in the uh, directory where you installed my mobile site generator or in the root folder uh, of your server if you have installed uh, MSG in the root. Okay, moving along, uh, we also have the silver package which by default uh, enables the, uh, your customer to build four mobile websites. And of course, here you will set the price for uh, for this silver package. Let's put twenty dollars, twenty dollars. And now the gold package is set to six uh, mobile websites that the, your user can create. And let's put like thirty dollars. Uh, here is the affiliate link that you uh, received upon registering to uh, my mobile site generator. So I will put here my affiliate link. Wait. Slash. Um, let's put a equals seven. Now the header. This is very important because this is uh, what every customer of yours will see when he gets to his members area. So let's start modifying this. Let's add an image here. We can use HTML code or we can just insert it directly. Uh, first of all, we have to upload it. Let's see where it is. Click on insert. Wait, insert here. Now we'll have to upload a new file. Uh, let's put here, um, click on browse, now we will go to my computer, wait, to the desktop and select here uh, this header.
OK. After we selected this, we'll click Upload. No, wait. This. Click OK to upload image. OK. It's uploading. And we have here the header, as you can see. OK. We can insert this one here. And of course, we can make it as large as we want. Let's make it like that. OK. Uh, you have here a sidebar, which also is very important because uh, every member will see this uh, text or anyway, upsells or links that you want to promote here. They will see it under their um, members area menu. So we have here, this is where you can put offers. Let's put here, this is the best offer you will receive. And let's insert another image here. We have to upload one. Click on upload, click on browse, and let's put the ebook. Okay, we have an ebook there. We are uploading it. And there you have it. We can now use this one. Okay, so we have the ebook here. And now for the footer, we will put another image. Let's upload this one as well. Click on Browse. Okay, let, here is the footer. Open. Upload. This is, this is the Upload button, just in case it wasn't seen in the video. Okay, and click Insert. Now we have also the uh, the footer created, and then we move next to the next uh, field, which is mobile site footer. This is seen by um, on on every mobile website that your your uh, customers will create. So let's put here. Um, this is my mobile site generator mobile footer this is the custom text for the members that you suspend so if there are some members uh, who created some sites that um, do that that you you do not accept or that um, are 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 not good are not are not well created you can just suspend these members and here is the text that they will see when they will try to browse for their site this is just uh, a message for them in order to contact you and to ask them to ask you what happened you are let's modify this as well you are a suspended member please contact us to uh, activate your account. Thank you. And click Save Changes. And now all the data is saved. Now to see it in action, we will go um, here to View Members and log in to this member that we created in the first video. And now you will see here is the header where of course you can put anything you want. Um, here is the sidebar as you can see it's right under the menu and you can make this a link or or anything you want and here is the footer the centered footer plus where it says powered by my mobile site generator this is your affiliate link okay that would be it also if you want to uh, to see if, if the custom footer that you created is working, go to site. Okay, we selected the site that we created in the first video, and now we go to view site. And now on the view site, you will see that uh, there is the custom, the custom um, footer that you created. You see, this is my mobile site generator mobile footer. And also you have the link to for the regular site. Okay. This being said, uh, we can also uh, 
can also do something else. We can go to um, to the admin area and to show you how you can suspend a user. Uh, you see here it says active. Well, if you click on this link, it will say, oh wait, we are now, the session has expired. Now he is suspended. So what that means is that when you try now to view his site, uh, if you try to view his site, let's let's enter it here. So it is mobile. It will say you are now a suspended member. Please contact us to activate your account. Thank you. And of course this will make them contact you and see what the problem is. Okay, this was the second video. I hope uh, you learned a lot from this one and uh, um, we will talk later with the third video. Bye-bye.